So when you're working in InDesign, I sometimes get asked if there's an easy way to create a highlight effect. Um, and there are a couple of options available to you now here. Uh, first of all, on the newer versions of InDesign, if you go onto the paragraph tools at the top, you have this option to do paragraph shading um, and borders. And if you click on shading there, you'll see it turns on a shading effect for the whole paragraph. If you hold the Alt key or Option key and click on this little icon over here, that then brings up the shading options. So for example, in here, you can go into there and you can change, for example, the color of the shading if you want a different color. Um, you could go in there and you could say, right, actually, let's just turn on preview here. Um, let's change the tint over here. So I can go in there and increase the tint, um, something like that. So that, that kind of thing could be one option. You can also set that incidentally to do not print or export. So you'll see it on the screen, but it won't be printed or output. Click OK. That's one kind of option if you want to do a whole paragraph. But what if you just want to highlight a single word? So, for example, the word Highlander up here. Now, the first thing most people will try and do is select it, and then they'll try and go over here and they'll try and use the strike through option. But you have got a problem with the strike through option. If I just hold the Alt or Option key here, click on that, and increase the weight on here, you can see it is getting thicker. Um, so that's working in that respect. And I can change the color down there. Let's just make it yellow, look a little bit more like a traditional strike through and click OK. But your problem is it doesn't actually highlight it. It literally strikes it through. Um, so what it's going to do is hide the text completely. So that obviously isn't going to work. But here's a nice little trick actually for getting around this. If I just turn that off for a second and go instead to the underline option right above that one, Hold down the Alt or Option key and click on that again just to bring up the settings. And I'm now working on an underline. Now, the beauty of working on the underline is the underline actually does go behind um, the text rather than on top of it. So if I increase that, you can then play with the offset and bring it up a little bit. Let's just increase that a little bit more. And just tweak that offset setting slightly. A bit more. We can increase it a little bit. There we go. And change the text color down to yellow here. So when you've done that and clicked OK, that does give you more of a traditional kind of highlight effect in there. Now, if you wanted to reuse that at various parts of the document, the way to do that would be to select that area. And assuming this is the only change you've made since you created your character, your, your paragraph style rather, what you could do is you could turn that into a character style. So I could go in here, do a new character style, and I can call it highlight, something like that. I know what it is. Click OK. We want to apply it to the selection. So now anywhere I want that in here, I can just apply the highlight and it'll allow me to very, very quickly go through there and apply that. The other benefit of that is if I want to change that highlight to a different color, for example, I can just edit the style um, and I can go in here and say, right, let's go for cyan highlights instead. And I've silly, I've done it on the text. Let's just go in there again, edit the highlight style. It's the strike through options that I'm looking for, underline options rather than looking for, I should say. And you've now got the cyan colored highlight. Um, so nice, easy way to do highlights in there. Hopefully that helps.